The FTC is back at it again. A PlayStation 5 Pro spec leak and something that's internal or eternal. Is it internal or is it eternal? Whatever it is, it spells doom. Let's get into these topics. Welcome back to Xbox Frontline News with your boy, the King. Oh, man, it's been a wonderful week. Well, we just wrapped up the last episode of the year for IOP. That's Iron Lords Podcast. So if you know me from Iron Lords Podcast, or if you didn't know, I'm on Sundays, Eastern Standard Time at Iron Lords Podcast. But we won't be having any podcast for the remainder of the year. We're technically on a hiatus for the end of the year. This is our downtime, but uh, I will be still continuing to make content daily and also the live show on Friday, 630 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, We're going to be dropping stuff on the ILP channel uh, to give people content, you know, so the the channel is not, you know, absolutely barren. We do have things in the work. Uh, Lord Attic and myself will be playing Boulder's Gate. Three, co-op. (laughs) <laughs> little man outside but now nah, i'll be playing on my series x <laughs> i don't know people make up weird things right so now nah, let's yo let's get into the first topic the first topic shout out to doom for being uh this is the 30th year anniversary of doom so doom eternal because it's eternally burning released uh current gen patch and the patch took it up to 124 120 frames per second mode well it's released on the the xbox series consoles and the playstation and the reason why you know i say xbox first because you know xbox is first you know it's the most powerful console uh on the face of the planet but at the same time in saying that it's a tier system so you have best good and uh you know you have best no best good and okay so and and that would be <coughs> excuse me that would be the series x the playstation 5 and the series s in performance wise uh the series s give you the bad news up front little man did not get a chance to do ray tracing mode and i think the findings from larian studio studios that uh, produces Baldur's Gate that made the game uh, Baldur's Gate 3. If the Doom team would have got a chance to see their findings and how they were able to navigate that console, they would give it, I, I think it was a, what, a 30% uh, uh, overhead, they got more room out of the RAM. I think this would have helped that game, so you'd have probably had the ray tracing mode. But other than that, it was uh, 1080p, 1440p. It has a performance mode, has a graphic mode, fidelity mode. It has all three modes. So now Doom Eternal is looking current gen. It's looking good. So, and I, and that's good to see games that you have. And and, and get this part here: zero dollars and zero cents. If you happen to have the game, you purchase the game. Boom! Check it out. It's right there. It's available. Updates. Get the patch. You're right in. No ten dollars. No nothing. It's free, and that goes for the PlayStation. I know the PlayStation likes to charge people, but this is a Bethesda title, who is owned by Microsoft. You know, so you know that game is inside PlayStation Plus right now. So if you happen to have it and you want to go check it out, go do that. But for my Xbox guys, we already know we eating good. We stay eating good. We are used to the free. You know me. So you already know where to catch that. That's inside Game Pass right now. So go do your thing. And and most of the time, you guys already owned it already. So go check it out. But if you don't and you're new to the Xbox ecosystem, 
Go check it out. It's free. It's the current gen upgrade. That's Doom Eternal. Have fun. Peace. Right, FTC. I'm so sick and tired of you wasting my money. I'm so sick and tired of Lena Khan going out here and having this weird vendetta or, 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 or something like against Microsoft. All right, she, the, the FTC has opened an inquiry of investigation about Microsoft's investment in open AI. They invested $13 billion. That's kind of crazy. They have $13 billion to invest. And we already know the, the rumblings that went on with um, OpenAI and the, the co-owner uh, and, and all, 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 all the staff, everybody. We already know what happened with Microsoft. We already know what happened with the letter. We already know all that stuff. And if you don't, then go back and watch uh, the Xbox Frontline, older episodes. Getting you up to speed. Now, they appealed, the FTC has appealed the ruling in the ABK deal. That's Activision Blizzard uh, King deal that Microsoft has purchased them. So right now, Microsoft is still battling these guys. But what I've noticed is Microsoft has become super strategic when it comes to the feds watching them. They already know that you're under them. Let me give you a word of advice to save my money. Open AI is a nonprofit. They don't have to report anything to you. And of course, I am a huge person when it comes to uh, AI regulations. Apparently, Lena Khan is too, especially when it comes to Microsoft. But what she's um, debating is the existing people that have big techs that are the incumbent. They don't want them to get stronger because they want more people in the marketplace. I don't believe her for a word. I, like, I don't believe any word that comes out of her mouth at all. I believe this uh, is an agenda-based uh, attack. I believe everything that is done is to further some form of agenda against certain companies for other companies or whatever. But FTC, just like you're going to lose the appeal, this inquiry that you're doing right now, Microsoft donating $13 billion didn't even get them controlling stake in open AI. What it did was give them a shadow seat at the board where they don't have a vote. They just get a chance to see what the hell's going on. So, what are they doing again? What are you doing again? Wasting our time and our money like you did with the ABK deal. You can't save Kong. No one can save Kong. Kong will die. And you guys are going to have to find a new champion or get down with old green team. All right, last and final topic, which is kind of crazy. We're back at this stuff again. All right, so we just had a redesign of the PlayStation 5 console. It's not called the PlayStation 5 Slim. It's just a redesign because they phased out the last PlayStation uh, 5 where they had the two SKUs. Now, this uh, still has the two SKUs, but if you think about it, it's one manufacturer in line. What they do separately is make the Blu-ray drive separately, and they manufacture the console that comes with the, the disk drive packaged in, and it's also sold separately. Or you can buy the all-digital, completely digital uh, PlayStation 5 console without the pregnant undercarriage disk drive, and that runs $70. These things is like 6 to $12 to make. And at cost, but they sell it to you for 70. Capitalism, you got to love it, right? Supply and demand, my man. Then PlayStation comes out with this portal, which is a $200 paperweight. <clears throat> then they come out with the PlayStation VR 2, which is a $600 paperweight, something that costs more than console. And to get this, the digital version of the PlayStation 5 costs more than the original digital version of the PlayStation 5. They were getting their money back. Tell me, stop me, 
if this sounds familiar. Stop me. Now they're coming out with a console, supposedly, because the specs have leaked, of a 24 teraflop beast with dedicated ray tracing and beautiful upscaling, fast SSD, all this other stuff. A, a beast, a monster, supposed to be more powerful than Series X. And it's supposed to have RDNA uh, 3 with some some RDNA 4. Sounds like an $800 machine. Stop me if this sounds familiar. Who wants this? The same way I said who wanted the portal. Who wants this pro? You haven't maxed out the power in the PlayStation 5. The power of the PlayStation 5 isn't even maxed out. So, what are you going to do? Be tethered to whatever the PlayStation 5 is, the base console, and um, you have the Pro, which can never be maxed out. When, what, when now you can game in 4K, uh, 45 frames per second. Come on. Um... They're talking about different levels of specs for this thing, and I just don't believe it. An $800 machine. This sounds like Sega all over again. Is the F PlayStation 5 Pro Sony's Dreamcast? Is this the nail in the coffin? I've already told you guys that there won't be a PlayStation 6. Kong won't survive this. This this is watching the stumblings and bumblings and everything happening. It's insane to watch the path of where they're going. And I honestly know now that this is the end for them. So, this is the part where catchphrase goes, merch stores on the way, you'll be able to get a chance to get a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna have fun. Patreon is being crafted. But, till the next video, try to play the game pass. <laughs>